أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم We don't appreciate the importance of love until you have a problem. We take advantage of our relationships and we don't place a value on them. Growing up you probably didn't care for your mom and dad until the day that you needed some money. Then all of a sudden dad was very important, life was <laughs> had a different meaning. And that's the nature of humanity and the nature of our existence, we're, we're forgetful. And unfortunately we forget the need of the importance of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and the special relationship that the Ahlul Bayt occupy within the heart of Prophet And that's just a given of the humanity and the reality of family. And by loving them we build a special relationship and nearness to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And now we're understanding, when they start telling you, go back into your home, you're going to die. Amazing how they can't predict the weather but they know when you're going to die. This is the time of immense belief that when you go back into your cave and you start to praise and on the days that you don't have zikr, it's on the app, open the app, open the salawats. People asking that, you know, pray for me shaykh, pray for me shaykh, why you don't pray for yourself? And the most important prayer you have for yourself is make the durud sharif. Literally don't have to look for du'a books and how to make a du'a because the du'a is all filled with nafsani things. Give me this, give me this money, give me this money, give me this, give me this, oh give me, give me, give me, my name is Jimmy. But the salawats is not about that. When you read the salawats at home and you open up the salawats it's praisings upon Sayyidina Muhammad and so beautif- beautifically and poetically composed by awliya so that they are asking without the open appearance of asking because they ask on the behalf of Prophet that, Ya Rabbi grant immense stations, take, take away calamities and difficulties. Means every type of reality that they're asking for, as they're asking Prophet what you want for your brother, want for you is asking for us. But if you're asking for this for me and my family, my companions and all whom I love, then I'm asking Allah same for you. And this is an immense reality. So when we're sitting and have nothing that we know what we're gonna do, take out the salawat book on the app and keep reciting the salawat. Even to atone to yourself, you don't have to be melodious if you don't have a, a nice voice. You don't have to scream in the house the salawat but just to yourself you recite it and keep reading it and reading it and reading it. And these are in nijad for us. Time is finishing on this earth, immense difficulties coming upon this earth and what you have you're accountable for. And whatever we give and what we do of our time, our effort, our ability, our rizq, whatever is coming and we put in the way of Sayyidina Muhammad don't follow up with it. Don't worry, oh this like this, this like this, it's not for you to be the accountant. But this is for your account and you want the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad that's all that matters. The, the person ate it, they put it on their head as a hat, this is not your problem. Your only problem is that you need the attention of Sayyidina Muhammad that's it. And you're not going to get it by the fake faith, well no I love, what do you love? What you did for the love? So this, this way tariqah means path, this path is based on actual effort and steps that are visible, actions that are visible that other people see you as a crazy person, you are now become Muhammadiyun. <laughs> They say, why you guys look like this? Why you have to have this turban, this hat, this beard, this clothes, this siwak, why you have to do this? Not it's extreme, it's just different because it looks like you're from the moon on this earth. You're like from a different planet. Yes, I'm from the Muhammadan <laughs> reality. I'm merely visiting this earth to see how bad it is. 
we're not inhabitants of here. This faith that you pay into with your blood, your sweat and your tears is something that every time you do something Allah's exchanging something. You go like this, Allah gives back. What is He giving back? He's giving back faith, 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 faith. And then you begin to recite, you recite, you recite and your actions become so strong and the light within your belief becomes so strong, Ayyuhal ladina amanu, amanu. At every moment your faith has to be increasing. Don't leave it like a shirt to become worn out. Prophet describes iman is like a shirt, it can become worn out when you think you have it and that's it. Challenge ourselves at every moment to do more, to operate more, to give more, to participate more so that I feel I'm, I'm just overwhelmed with so much that I'm doing that I feel this immense love for Prophet I'm continuously doing, continuously this love is growing. Now this faith is what begins to save you because as they say you're going to die, you're going to catch a cold, you're going to blow your nose and then you're going to die and can't breathe anymore. And your faith tells you even they throw an atomic bomb on your head, if Allah wants you alive no problem, you will be alive. Shaykh Abdul Faiz Daghestani, Sultanul Awliya said a day is coming they are going to throw bombs on this world, nuclear bombs. Six out of seven will perish. But whom Allah makes mahfuz and guarded to be with Sayyidina Mahdi it'll be like a cold for them because the contaminants will come and cold, not by death of nuclear waste. It Allah will reduce it to be a cold for that one who's ahbab and lover. Not that madhab that angry people. This whole reality is based on, on wadood, on love. If there's an ounce of anger in their testing and in your character you will burn because the anger is a fire. If you have fire within you, fire to fire, ashes to ashes and dust to dust each element to its own. Makes sense, right? If you're fiery, you're fiery, you're going to be… this is like the destiny you're choosing, you're, you're choosing to be in the fire. If you're very earthly then whenever comes you're going to the earth. But if you're nurani and it's all from love and muhabbat of Allah then you have an immense love and Allah's hand is upon your hand. When Allah's hand is upon you, Ya Allah, what does that even mean? When they took a bayah and they, and they confirmed and Allah said, my hand is upon your hand, can anything come to you? Whatever 10,000 television shows tell you you're dying, you've got a cold, it's merely a cold and that's it, it will come and go, don't you think about it. But if you're not good with Allah all the swabs in your nose and all the shots that you take to kill yourself with the shot is not going to help you. Our account and hisab is with Allah these are the days of immense faith. You have to work and build the faith. When you build it you know you got it because you have an immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad and though I walk through the valley of death I fear not for I know my Lord is with me. And Allah when He's with you, you must be with Nabiin, must have immense love for Prophet Siddiqeen, love for all the holy companions. There are crazy people out there if we say one Ya Ali they, they, they come hitting back talking about Sahabi, even Sahabi would hit you on the head and say, don't ever mention our name and become derogatory to Imam Ali they know the station and proximity and the love Prophet has. So it means the love of Siddiqeen is, is you having a love more than yourself for all of them. Shuhadahi wa saliheen that we, we went with the ulama who are shuhada, the mushahada that their hearts are open because they sacrifice their bad character and their schools are factories for saliheen. They put out only saliheen, best of character, no yelling and screaming people, 
all those yelling and screaming ulama they're all going to die and leave this earth, leave this earth. Seventy thousand of them are going to be perishing because they're not from wadood, they're not from who? Who? Hair of Hidayat. If, if they think they're a shaykh, they're ulama, alama, what are the big words they use? Ulama, alama, babaji. <laughs> <laughs> they at least have to be from an ocean of who? Where Allah says, I'm going to make you a guide and I give you the hair of Hidayat and I open your senses for Hidayat. And I give you a wow. Allah, Allah describe this kalima and it's huruf. It's huruf, it can never change the reality because the huruf is the reality. Nobody can come and explain to us that who means angry people that can yell and <laughs> scream at you, cheat and steal from you, take everything and abuse you. No. Allah described, no, my huruf is like the safeguard for whatever you're going to understand because I wrote it in an ancient time. Before your existence I wrote these kalam, I wrote these words and I put the ingredients of these words in that reality that when my guides come onto this earth, the real ones, I will give them hay of hidayat, how they can guide you if they're not guided. And I'll make them from my wow that they've been dressed from this ocean of love and we described on the levels of the nafs. From radiyah, mardiya, was safiya, all up are oceans of love. Well, Allah dresses the servant and the soul from his immense oceans of love because Allah is continuously dressing and blessing that soul with all of the divine realities of muhabbat. So then these people of who and these guides of who, they guide towards muhabbat and love. Any anger goes to anger and you see them will begin to burn and to perish they're in their reality of this earth. That if they think they're going to represent the Muhammadan reality in the presence of Sayyidina Mahdi salam, ah, they're gone, they'll be, be sort of scattered like a like the foam off of the top of the ocean they'll be taken and thrown to where Allah want to deal with them. And those whom have immense muhabbat, immense love, they will release Allah's Divinely love which is Allah's Divinely protection upon His servants. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us from Ameen. these realities. That reality of ta and seen. Because now we're entering into the new month of Rabbi Thani and we left the journey of entering into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and to reiterate what only Allah see when they enter, this is the Kitabul Mubeen. The soul of Prophet is Allah's Kitab. The clear book of Allah We said before that Allah's words that are not created can never touch creation. There's nothing clean enough to touch Allah's Divinely mighty words to rest it on anything that's from creation. So that's why Allah describes in Holy Qur'an, if we reveal our speech which is Qur'an to the mountain because He wants us to understand that which we think is big and mighty, qashya. The mountain will not hold it, cannot contain it and will become powder and dust out of fear of Allah and out of its inability to carry the, the might and majesty because Allah's qul and speech is all Divinely power. All of Allah's qaf is a Divinely qudra and power coming through to manifest. What tongue can hold that reality? 
That's why Allah then describing on this journey that when you're entering into this cave last month is the entering into the cave. And what you're seeing of tahseen, Allah swearing by this ta and the seen that this purified ta, a tahir hadi, the most purified reality you can imagine. As a result I have put the most amazing secret upon this reality, although hidden treasure wanting to be known. That's the most amazing secret Allah would just say, I want to be known. Tilka ayat al-Qur'an, what you see now in this world of light, you're giving you visual it's the light is everything. But the manifestation of Holy Qur'an is like a fire coming out. And Allah is describing, you see this fire coming out of the soul of Prophet Tilka ayat al-Qur'an. The fire which is a Divine love is the, is the manifestation of Holy Qur'an. This speech, Allah's speech like a fire we said, قُلْ قُلْ يَحْنَارُكُونِ بَرْدًا وَسَلَامًا Allah's Divinely power is a fire that comes out. Tilka ayat al-Qur'an that is no way even manifesting, it's merely the signs of Allah's Qur'an. The signs of Allah that's why tilka ayat al-Qur'an that this is a sign of Allah this fire that you're seeing. That's the same fire that appeared on earth for Sayyidina Musa to see that Divinely Presence. It was the cave in the heart of Prophet he entered into. Tilka ayat al-Qur'an wa kitab al-mubeen, the soul of Prophet is the Kitab al-Mubeen that holds this fire and this speech that manifesting where Allah every creation is manifesting from this speech of Allah located in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad So then we enter into Rabbi Thani and becomes the opening. This is a journey into the realities of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Now we entered into the fourth lunar month, four times the power of nine is now the secret of Surat al-Yaseen. So Allah confirming that heart that you entered into of the heavenly kingdom in this month Allah then describing for believers and those whom are arifeen on this journey of realities, yes the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad is the heart of Holy Qur'an known as Yaseen And this why Allah calls Janab Yaseen Habib Allah. You've entered now into Allah's love, Habib Allah. Everything in creation trying to love Allah hope that Allah will love them. Allah is attached His love upon Sayyidina Muhammad and wanting to give to him. We are going up to get Allah's attention. But Allah granted that love and showering the blessings and dressings upon Sayyidina Muhammad So then this Yaseen Habib Allah, this reality of this cave and this why is being confirmed in this month is Surah Yaseen. So that fire that we looked at in Taseen, Tilka Ayat al-Qur'an wa Kitab al-Mubeen. Now Allah give us another two huruf, I swear by Ya and Seen because now you're inside and the flowing fire of realities that everything is dressing these awliyaullah and all those whom accompanying them on that journey by how Allah want them to recite just in combination of letters and the haqqaiq of what Allah will bring out with that reality that everything is encoded. And Allah give to those sincere servants whom have the immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad That's it, no education, 
no degrees and diplomas. This school only requires muhabbat and with some sincere blood, sweat and tears, that's it. And if Allah checks off the entire power of this universe and heavens, this universe and this dunya is nothing. What they're describing of realities within Malakut of the Muhammadan haqqaiq that how many Prophets came, how many nations came just to reach towards paradise. This is beyond the levels of paradise, beyond the levels of Sayyidina Jibreel, deep into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Just by the combination of these huruf's and the understanding of their heart, Allah open everything. Even they recite kaf, ha, they're not allowed to say it. Ha meem ain siqaf <laughs> Certain combination of huruf's they are coded on our body. Ha meem ain siqaf, kaf, ha, ya ain saat means these recitations and these huruf's when Allah give the key to them they open insan. You're like a box locked. When Allah give a permission these different recitations that the shaykhs make and teach the student to begin to make they unlock insan and begin to open. As that open then every type of treasure Allah begin to deposit within the souls of these servants. So these are not something small but these are the treasures of, of, of the immense reality and the depth of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Allah give us more and more understanding and more and more realities to dress ourselves with in this holy month of Surat al Yaseen, in the month in which Allah is dressing and blessing us from these blessings. We go to the app, and open up the reality for the month and you'll see that Rabbi Thani they say, oh nine times four, thirty-six, we said this is then the secret of thirty-six. And why thirty-six is so important for us? It's a symbol of the heart of Divinely Presence. It's the reality of the name Yaseen of Sayyidina Muhammad Thirty-six name of Sayyidina Muhammad Muhi, the one whom revives Muhi al qulub Thirty-sixth name of Allah that Muhi opens is Al-Ali, Ali, the Most High. It's a nice team, <laughs> Muhi the reviver and Ali the lock. The key and lock they open these dresses why Allah named Imam Ali with Al-Ali. Thirty-sixth chapter, secrets of Surat al Yaseen. The hijab and the dress that Allah is dressing upon the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad for 9,000 of Allah's divinely years, which has no beginning and no end, its praise is Subhana Rafiul Ala, Rafiul Ala. Glory be to the one whom elevated and high, Allah's zikr upon the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad in this holy month subhanahu wa rafi al-ala. The immensity of these realities and the immensity of the salvation that they give these knowledges they give a power to the soul, they give immense reality to the soul for the days of difficulty. 
That's when we started the whole discussion. We don't know what we have, we don't know what Allah bestowing upon us until a day comes where we begin to understand that's why they were teaching, that's why they were telling us to do like this, that's why they did like that. That inheritance that's been deposited we don't understand its use because the time isn't right for that right now. Now is the time to acquire the knowledge, to understand the knowledge, to study it, to make tafakkur and contemplation just to be able to to ascertain it and to keep it. If you don't have enough energy on your soul and not enough of the fires and juzba of the shaykh, this not making any sense to you and you're probably falling asleep. That's okay too because they'll catch you on the other side. You actually get out of the way and they'll teach you in the world of souls. But what it wounds from us is that build your energy. Build the fires, build this emanation and this, this power coming from this power station like a mobile phone. That you need more of the signal, more of the juice, more of the energy to come. The more the fire is coming, the more the fire is coming by doing your tafakkur, just a few minutes every day connecting your heart. Right after you make your salah play a little bit of salawats, visualize yourself at Rosa Sharif asking just to be in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad to be at your holy feet, dress me from your lies, dress me from your nazar, dress me from the presence of your, your guys that you have sent into my life Ya Rabbi and let me to keep my head always at your Divinely feet of Sayyidina Muhammad and every day, every day, every day. And when Allah order every back, everybody back into your homes means now you have time to contemplate, to sit and contemplate and make your connection and begin to feel the fires and begin to feel these energies that come. When these energies come and they come in strong vibrations and strong amounts these knowledges will begin to become more and more clear because the energy of the soul is being elevated. At that time the soul is understanding deeper and deeper. Otherwise first it's just coming as a, as a knowledge and the soul like in a darkness doesn't know what the heck these people are talking about. It's not lost because it comes on deposited upon the reality of the soul. As soon as you meditate to get the fires it's like you're, you're opening this world of light. You're no longer in the dark, you begin to feel the glimpse of light at the end of the tunnel is now opening within the heart. Good hearts with love and muhabbat. These gatherings are witnessed by Divinely Souls that any time a gathering for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad from Ashiqeen then all the family of Sayyidina Muhammad are in attendance. There is nothing more dear to them than holy events on earth. The events in heavens is given, it's all angels. <laughs> but Allah asked in Qur'an, have you made the ascent? We don't understand how important it is when we try to lift up. And Allah asked, have you made an attempt to ascend into the heavens? Stressing the importance when a servant tries to lift from dunya to go towards heavens. And a majlis on earth for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah sends the most noblest of guests. The attendance of these Ahlul Bayt, their nazar and they can be infinite places at one moment. It's something beyond our imagination. All we have to do is make intention for that love, Ya Rabbi we're intending to meet for the purpose of this love and this muhabbat, sanctify our secret, sanctify our association. And Allah says, Ameen and sanctifies by the presence of these holy souls. That their station far above the station of malaika because they had a will and they submitted their will on earth and they achieved immense proximity to the presence of Allah's divinely oceans of might and majesty. 
as soon as these associations begin their noble souls they are surrounding. Wherever you are they're surrounding you. Keep good character, good presence. Your love and your muhabbat and your actions of love and when you show that love it's a dress and a medallion that, that brings their holy presence into the association, attracts their holy presence. The tongue is, is short on words on how to describe these realities. It's not something that you can put to words but like a homing device. These good actions of love and muhabbat and character they attach something to us that this family of Sayyidina Muhammad homes in on to that. This muhabbat and good character draws their attention into your home, onto your ni'mat and food and rizq. Everything that you do is under this tajalli of their nazar and their blessings by the good action and good characters that we are trying to do and implement in our life. We don't understand how important again, that's why the theme tonight opened is we don't understand what's happening. Only when we begin to see the immensity of negativity on earth we're beginning to get a glimpse of, Ya Rabbi I think I need a lot more help. What's coming upon this earth, this phase of sickness opens phases of immense violence. Whatever they're being possessed with and occupied in their being they're coming out as demons. And these demons their food is screaming and their drink is pain. They eat and drink the suffering of mankind. Everything that we're doing is bringing a light, a tajalli, a nazar of these awliyaullah of these what we consider awliyaullah, these immense souls of Ahlul Bayt, the immense souls of Ashab and Nabi and the holy companions all come to be present in the associations because the associations are for the love of Allah and love of Sayyidina Muhammad what, what better association could they be going to on this earth? And when you begin to see on the earth less and less and less, know that our associations are more and more crowded because there's less places for them to go, ahna wa sallam, please come, <laughs> right? They should be going to every home but nobody's remembering their Lord. So then they come to the few homes but many and then Allah dress and bless those souls so they become the few that represent the many. The few whom have love wherever they are on this earth they represent these many pious souls with immense power, immense proximity, immense love. By their presence in your life every fires comes to you, every difficulty will be taken from you, every knot will be untied within our lives. Not the ones that you want untied because that may be the one that's holding you into the tariqah. <laughs> you don't know what's holding you into this path, right? If Allah was to, you know, have you ever seen how you take down a bull? <laughs> you got to tie the hands and legs. If you take the, the string off the bull, you, you, what are you going to have? You're going to have zabiya? No, the bull's running. So it's not necessarily what you wanted Allah take away, there's a hikmah in everything Allah does. He ties the servant so they're there. But any other difficulty that is not needed to be there, by the presence of these holy souls every difficulty begins to vanish. Every significant sickness that is not something that the patient or person can, can deal with to improve their faith becomes lightened. Every blessing comes by their presence. Where only Allah described that every rain and ni'mat of Allah comes based on the presence of these souls and the companion of these souls on this earth. When a soul has this immense love, immense respect, immense proximity and all these Ahlul Bayt and souls of Ahlul Bayt are always with them, don't you think Allah send rain upon them in abundance? Rizq upon them in abundance, fires upon them in abundance. Not for what they know 
but who they know and who they kept because Allah Prophet described, you be with whom you love. When you love them they're with you. That's why the good character and love brings every ni'mat into our homes. No matter how far away you are, you show the love, you keep the respect and the more you show the love, the more you show the love as if more and more medallions are attracting more and more of this family. And if the family comes, imagine all the souls and pious souls who served and were the, the khadams of the family and they served and the fadayoon who gave the fadayat bishan, the, the, the ones whom they gave their lives in that service, they come and this is what Allah meant by, I'm coming. Nabiin, you have that love, Siddiqeen all oh, the big Siddiqs coming because of your ash, shuhada definitely they are all the ones whom see and with all of whom they accompany are salihin wherever you go in this life you be like a Kaaba, that all of Allah's love with you. How can anything come when Allah's love is with you? You think demons are, are coming to, to eat you? They're scared to death of you. إِلَّا شَرَفَ النَّبِي صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ عَلَيْهُ وَأَصْحَابِهِ كِرَامُ وَلَمْ شَيْخِنَا فِي تَرِقَةَ نَشْبَانْدِيَّةَ الْعَلِيَّةَ خَاصَةً رُوحِ مَامْ تَرِقَةَ غَوْتَ قَلِيكَ شَرْ نَقْشْبَانْ مُحَمَّدْ وَيْسِ عَلْبُخَارِي سُلْطَانَ أَوْلِيَا شَيْخَ عَبْدَنِ فَيْزِ دَغِسْتَانِي سُلْطَانَ أَوْلِيَا شَيْخِ مُحَمَّدْ نَعْزَمَ عَدِلْ حَكَّانِي مَوْلَانَا شَيْخِ شَام كُبَانِي شَيْخِ عَدْنَان كُبَانِي مَوْلَانَا شَيْخِ مُحَمَّدْ عَادِلْ مَعَبْدَ خَالِقِ الْخُجْدُوَانِي صَاحِبِ زَمَانِ سَيِّدِ مُحَمَّدْ الْمَهْدِي عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامُ رُوحُ اللَّهِ سَيِّدْنَا عِيسَى عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامُ سَيِّفُ اللَّهِ سَيِّدْنَا عِيسَى عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامُ ثُمَّ سَابَقَ الصَّدِيقِ وَصَدَّقِينَ الْفَاتِحَةَ Please always any questions help me, not info, help me, Haji Shamash, help me at nurmuhammad.com and uh, please keep the line of communication open, please support the videos at the bottom have a support button, please support. Your generous contributions go to put out all these videos, all this propagation, all these books, all these dawah, all this equipment, all this internet, everything and brings us closer into the love of this reality. InshaAllah accept this dawah, accept Ameen. these actions Ameen. and that the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad to be upon us, dress us and bless us inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.